What's up guys, Big D Wiz here. Just wanted to give you a quick walk through of my budget home theater. So stay tuned and check it out. All right guys, here you see the center, entertainment center part of the budget home theater. I'll walk you through the components we that I have here. First off at the bottom, control center for everything is the Onkyo 626 receiver. This is a couple years old, but it still has all the features that I need. I've got a PlayStation 3, again, that's old too, <laughs> but uh, it works for me. It does Blu-rays and 3D Blu-rays and all that. I have a Roku 3, again, that's an older model, but it works great for streaming. And then I have a WD Live box, and this is uh, so I can plug in hard drive that has movies or you know things I've recorded on my phone or whatever, and it'll play it perfect through that. Here on the other side of the entertainment center, I've got a Nintendo Wii. Yes, old school Wii. I have kids, they enjoy playing the Wii, so we still have one. And I have a little basic Cisco cable box here. I use Time Warner in this area. And I don't have a DVR up here yet because I haven't decided if I'm gonna stay with cable or try to cut the cable. And you can see the, uh, keep the movies in here. Not very organized yet, but works fine this entertainment center is by solder I needed one that was wide and short so that uh, it would work with the projector so the front speakers are tower speakers these are by Boston acoustics and these are from the mid 90s this is the Linfield VR 30 these have a 7 inch mid-range with the tweeter and also a 7 inch bass driver and the center channel is the Boston Acoustics VR12. This one has dual six inch drivers, four inch mid, and that same Linfield VR tweeter. And in the back, I have the little Polk Audio. These are five and a quarter bookshelf speakers with um, soft dome tweeters as well. I have one on each side. I opted not to go 7.1. Didn't think it was really necessary in this room being uh, approximately 16 by 18 dimensions. The subwoofers down here in the back right corner of the room. This is a Serwin Vega 15 inch sub with a 400 watt amp built in. And the model of the sub is the CLS, see it's right here, CLS 15S. You can see it's got you can put your high level inputs in here. I don't know why anybody would want to do that. You got left and right, and you also have the LFE in, which bypasses the crossover. You have a switch for phase, and then you have a volume or a gain control. Again, this is a 400 watt bash amplifier. And mounted to the ceiling is the Acer. This is the 6510BD. This is a 1080p 3D projector with up to 3,000 lumens of output, and it works great in this room. Budget, also, I got it at Newegg for less than $500 when it was on sale for a one-day deal. So here's a picture kind of in the middle of the day. You can see it's mighty bright in here, but um, it's still usable. I mean, I'm gonna sit down here in my seat and I'll show you the center channel that I have there is just a little bit too tall, and I've actually got the VR10 model, which is a little bit smaller, uses five inch drivers instead of six. It's about two inches shorter, so uh, that should help, but um, you have to see this at night to really appreciate the quality. Even shining on the wall, I know people are gonna say, oh, you need a screen, or you need to paint the wall, or you know, whatever, get some Carl's blackout cloth, but this is a budget build. That's something that'll maybe come down the road later. I wanted to figure out what size screen I wanted first. But I'm telling you, man, when it's dark in here, this is the bomb diggity. All right, folks, it's nighttime. Well, almost nighttime. It's not completely dark outside yet, but it's pretty dark. So I'm going to show you what the picture looks like. All right, so here's a sample from the beginning of the Avatar movie. You can see how good, crystal clear that it looks. Pretty impressive, I must say. This is probably my favorite demo 
of the home theater. This is Tron Legacy. This is awesome on the big screen. Again, it's hard to portray this, just like it is hard to portray sound quality. But this looks awesome here in this room. It's about a 11 or 12 foot diagonal screen that we have here. You can see, you probably can't see, but there's a door over there to kind of give you a size reference. All right, guys, there you have my budget home theater. Hope you enjoyed this video. Just wanted to basically show you what I've done and also let you know that you don't have to spend $10,000 or even $5,000 to have a really nice home theater that you can enjoy every night. Budget components still work good. You can always step your way up, you know, if you want to in the future. But uh, for right now, I enjoy my setup. Give you guys some updates in the future. Maybe when I get a new screen or uh, change any of the components, I'll let you know. So it's Big D Wiz. Thanks for watching. Till next time. I'm out of here.